sometimes when you're factoring with four terms or more, um, it may help by using an additive inverse. So what an additive inverse really is talking about is if you have a six minus a, well what you can do is you can take a negative one out. So if you were to factor out a negative one from each of these terms, then that means you get a negative one on the outside. This is your GCF, remember? And then what you'd have left over is these terms basically just flip-flop. Because you're gonna get a positive A, notice A is positive, and you get a negative six, because six divided by negative one is a negative six. This is called your additive inverse. So if we look at example four, and if we group our first two terms together, we're gonna have a 15A and a 3AB. The terms that 15 and 3 have in common, well, 3, the only factors of 3 are just a 1 and a 3. So if you take a 3 out, out of each of those, that's going to work. Next thing you would do is you notice they have an A in common. So you would take a 3A out. So we're going to divide each of these terms by a 3A. So that means we're going to have a 5 minus B. Now, in order to do factoring by grouping, that means that if you have a 5 minus b, you must have a 5 minus b over here when you take out your GCF. So if we look at the second term, or second grouping, if we group it similarly like this, and you have a 4b minus 20, each of these have a 4 in common, so you would take out a 4, a positive 4. Left over, 4b divided by 4 is a b, minus 20 divided by 4 is a 5, does 5 minus b and b minus 5 the exact same? Hmm, no, they are not. Okay, 5 minus b is not the same as b minus 5. They are different signs. Come on, knuckleheads, you know this. They're not the exact same. If they have different signs, they're not the same. So what we can do, instead of just taking out a, uh, a positive 4, because if you look, they're pretty close to being the same. You have a 5, you have a b, you have a b, you have a 5, and you have a minus sign. How about instead of taking out just a 4, we take out a negative 4. So if we take out a negative 4 instead of a positive 4, that's going to change this to be a 4b divided by negative 4 is a negative b, and negative 20 divided by a negative 4 is a positive 5. So what we would have instead would be a 3a times 5 minus b. Then we have a negative 4 out here. Instead of writing it as negative b plus 5, we could also rearrange those terms and write it as a 5 minus b. <gasps> Are your two terms the same? Yes! Very good, Tim. So what we're going to do is we're going to group our outside terms together. and We're going to say 3a minus 4 times 5 minus B. And that is how you can factor with an additive inverse. Make sure you are looking for terms that are similar, yet maybe just need a little tweaking with a negative.